everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 25 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. And I want to give a big special thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this video. Oh boy. Whoop, knocked over the antifreeze. Jeez. Are we getting the ceiling done today, Justin? Yes, sir. <laughs> three years, three months, three days. Three hours ago, we started thinking about doing this project. Three months ago, we started working on the inside of this building, get her tinned up, and today is the day we should finally get the rest of the tin done. You know how they say if it's good for you, it's really hard or it tastes bad? Think your grandma's prune juice or running 27 miles a day. I'm like you, I'm not interested in either of those things, but I am interested in keeping my body as healthy as possible. So that's why I drink AG1. We're looking at 75 ingredients of whole base foods, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, probiotics, all of the good stuff. That is what we need for today. Health is the ultimate wealth. For me, AG1 has vitamins and minerals inside of it that help support my immune system like vitamin C and zinc. And there's also a bunch of vitamins and minerals that help support my mental cognivity and alertness. So throughout the day, especially in the early afternoon, I don't get that crap. And whoever said good tastes bad was wrong because this tastes like bubble gum. AG1 contains nine different health products in one. So multivitamins, multiminerals, the multi-infinite amount of time it takes to consume all that, Gone. AG1 has this covered. Go to athleticgreens.com forward slash Cole the Corn Star to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this video. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. I'm used to throwing to people longer arms. You need a pencil for that? You want the whole long board then? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Justin. Yep. Got it. I got it. Man, how do you walk up here? It's like I'm walking on a catwalk. It's difficult. Mountain goat. <laughs> yeah. He's a mountain goat. Can we do see do Yeah. Do we both want to stay on the knotted board? <laughs> Get a shot of my nose hairs. Okay. We need to move. You know, if you would trim them, they wouldn't stick out so bad. <laughs> That's my filter. I need it for in here. All the fumes. Back down this way again. Yes, sir. Oh. Is that board twisted? That thing's more contorted than a stinking contortionist. That's why I'm calling it Opie. Yeah, better go that way. That then looks worse. Yeah, but it's twisted. The twisted won't hurt nothing. But that one looks. 103, right? To the long point. But he wants the angle on it, don't he? Yeah. Oh, there. I'm glad to see you are on the line. Oh, yeah. A little jerky, was he? No. He's on like a quarter inch inside the line. I got, the, I got the board sitting right here. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, he measured it wrong, so this way it'll fit in there. Oh. This is the J channel, formerly known as the J channel. Do we got more of that over there at Kristen Rusty's in the shed? Probably. Are we about out? That's it. I'm saying, are we not going to have enough for that? <laughs> It'll be close. We were just, if we need more, we were thinking over there. We can look later. My only concern with it being over there might not be the exact same color. You want to go that way? Yeah. I think I can make that work. Right there. Okay. Right there, 1978. Right there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that board smells like a cat turd. I was thinking that stinks. This board stinks? It smells like cat poop. Oh, we're cutting it. Probably a cat turd right in the middle of it. 
Yeah, you can't poop by that tree when it's, it's growing. growing. <laughs> that wind's really whipping out there. Look at that. Do you guys get a little nervous when they're calling for 80 mile winds? No. No. If we prefer if it blows down, then at least all that's gone. And then you just have to figure out who's covering it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it still looks good. <laughs> we don't have the straw though. Can you just squirt this like cheese? No, you cannot. Hey, I'm standing here. Up in there? Yep. Okay. Man, you can really feel that door moving. A lot of air comes through there. <laughs> hey, what you stop short for? That's not fair. Do you by chance know where my pouch is? I do not. I do not. Cooper had it last. Pouch. Pouch, pouch, pouch. Where would I be if I were a pouch? Hmm. <laughs> Aquí. Uh, Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Perfect.
crazy. We just got two sheets left. One easy one. We gotta take that track off. That's gonna be a hard one. Just run over the electrical cords. It's fine. Where you got the door opener, Heidi? You got it hiding right here. <laughs> I keep moving. That looks good on that track over there. What's that? I was just making sure that looks good on that track over there. How's it looking? Looks good to me. You're the Lorax, Austin? No, that guy. Dingle Bear? Oh, that guy. <laughs> that guy. What's the, what's the, I'm missing something here. What's the Lorax? Just hold on to it. I got to mark it. You don't know? How don't you know? The 60 foot tree where? The Lorax. I've never heard of the Lorax. Dude, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do not. Got it? Si, sí, senor. Okay, now come this way. Good? Yep. I have to do this. Yep. Last hard cut. That's heavy. Wow. Now we just need to throw this old Jay Chanel right up on the wall, border everything up, then we'll get the tin in place, and then covered, covered, special surprise back there. Now you can go up a little bit. Take a break. Learn that one from Justin. <laughs> Could be a collision here pretty soon. Let's see, I got eight foot dove, he's got two foot. Yeah, I got ribs here though. Oh, I'm trying to Done. Last piece. Are you kidding me? What is this? I bet I cut it. What? Wait. Oh. Is it short? Oh. Is it short? Wait, yeah. Uh, no, what is that? Yes, it is. Take it out. Put up 300 pieces and I screw one out. Oh, yeah. Got the hardest one. Huh? The hardest one. I mean, did you ever heard of Six Sigma before? For quality assurance? Oh. You just, for quality assurance, Six Sigma? Yeah, you just messed up our quality assurance. <laughs> now we got to start all over. Take two. <laughs> golden. golden pony board. Did Ralph Macho play that? I don't know, I just read the book. Wow, you weird. <laughs> there was a guy walking around on the day. I thought it was Gary Edwards. Looks just like him and stuff and kind of hacked in. I go, hey Gary, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. He looked at me and he goes, my name ain't Gary. I didn't help me, I mean, it's because I'm cutting off the board.
Now we're getting kind of close to a pretty exciting milestone on the farm, or at least an exciting milestone we come through every year, and that is getting all of our corn gone. That bin's already empty. We just need to do a little bit of sweeping on the floor. And then this bin has now ran empty as well. And we just need to do the final sweeping. So there's probably a cumulative 50 bushels between the two of them. And then the overhead bin's about half full. But you don't have to do any cleaning on that since it's a cone bottom. It's a good feeling getting this done. And we're doing it in record time this year because usually it's the middle of July on a 110 degree day when you're inside those things cleaning out. So a lot more enjoyable this time of year. Here's Ron, he's in a different truck today. I need the radios. Beep, beep. Whoa, a beeper. That's new. I think Ron bought a new truck. What do we got going on here? That's a mighty solid 80,210 pounds. I mean, what is all up there? We don't know. We'll Probably the last one for today because we're going to try to get oh, these okay. bins cleaned out on the floors. Uh, they're down to that level, so I don't know if there's 50 bushels in them, but we'll get them cleaned out. I'm going to grab the leaf blower, a shovel, and a broom. We're going to get these two bins swept out, cleaned out. We don't want a kernel of corn inside of them. So that way they'll be all, they'll be clean. Well, that's a comfortable place to sit, Ellie. <laughs> First bin's empty. We just gotta clean out the auger. We filled up all the sumps on the inside. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. Fault present. Okay. We'll reset the fault. I bet stuff is switched off. Yep. I don't know what's what, so we're just going to flip them all on. Okay, these big ones. That did something. Oh, we're losing red squares. That's good. Good. Okay, perfect. Let's go to that bin. Dryer to leg in one. Unload. How bad's this one? What? How bad's this one?
This is weird because we always do cleanup day when it's like you should have been in the combine two days ago and you're trying to get stuff done. But each bin now completely cleaned out. It takes about an hour to do each one. Real dusty mess. That's why I like to wear a mask. Now we're just kind of doing this outside sidewalk and on some of these transfer areas where a little bit of corn spilled when we had some plug up problems. We'll get this picked up. If that corn rots, it turns into kind of a corrosive material that we don't want to have on the galvanized metal because then it turns into a white. And then once that white goes through, then it rusts out, which is what we don't want. We'll pull these covers off. We'll take the leaf blower inside of here. Just kind of clean up some of this stuff, get it out of there. We're not gonna be using this stuff until six months from now. So we just wanna get it clean and just ready for storage. Oh, 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 it's getting cold and it feels nice to sit down. This is our compost pile of our rotten corn bean concoction. Most of this came from the boots at the very bottom of the leg. A lot hides up in there and you gotta clean it out because water gets in there, it rots, it'll rust your leg and it stinks. I've learned if we have some nice dirt like this and so we put that rotten grain mixture on top of it and then we just kind of come in every now and again and just stir it up. It eats it up to nothing in no time. If we leave it like that, it'll develop a nice crust over the top and you think it's all gone and rotted until you step on it and you break through like six inches and then your boots are ruined. Ooh, that's kind of a cool rock. You know the leaf blower was doing some serious work when we went through not four, but eight batteries. Surprise! We decided to put a door in the back of the heated shop so that way we have the main walk-in door. And this is where the furnace used to be sitting. And so now when we go outside this door, we can walk right into the door into the big machine shed. So in the past, you have to go out of the big machine shed, walk all the way around this building to come into here to grab whatever tool we needed, and then walk all the way around. It was just, Kind of annoying, so we figured why we had this tent off yet. Framed in the door, we got a door. And just easier access to tools, easier access to heat. I'm not gonna lie though, I wish it would have been a little further over this way, but it is what it is. And it, it's actually gonna work really well. It's gonna open from this side out, and then that's gonna force us to keep 
this edge three feet of the building clean all the way down, which is always a plus because then we have nice walking space. And if we're working on anything over here, we can easily get around because there's nothing worse than accidentally pulling something too close to the wall and then you can't get through and then you gotta walk all the way around anyway. So this is forcing us to do that. Plus, we wanted to make sure we didn't hit the gas line. That's the big thing on the outside. If it's right next to this edge of the door, if you're walking around carrying something or something and it's right next to the edge of the door, it's very possible we could accidentally bonk it. We don't want to bend that, break that, cause a gas leak. It's all out of the way over there. We got a good workout with the shovels today, but I'm not quite at the point of feeling like, man, as soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm just gonna pass right out. So we're gonna be doing my favorite workout today. We're gonna to be doing some squats and they're my favorite because they're hard and nobody likes to do hard things. So I feel like this makes me feel special. Here's what we're gonna do. We got 225 pounds on the bar. We're gonna do that as many times as we can. As soon as we can't do it anymore, then we're gonna re-rack it. We're gonna go to a low bar squat stance. We're gonna widen out a little bit. We're gonna sit back more. And we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time more focusing on the back of the leg, the glutes, the hips. These are just a brain battle. That's all it is. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I still think that was my mind mentally giving up right there. That was really hard. But I think there's just a little bit inside me that said, mm, just take a little longer to go down so that way you tie your legs out just enough. That's, that's called training the mind right here. <sighs> I think the hardest part about these is the low back gets so full of blood. It's uncomfortable sitting here right now. It just feels like... The legs feel good. Low back's pumped up. What we did today in the past would have taken us over a week and we did it in a half a day. So the efficiency ball is definitely rolling towards the goal of where we're trying to get to. We just, we're just eating it and a bite at a time and before we know it, the elephant's going to be gone. But thank you so much for spending time today to join us on the farm and all the work that we got done. We really appreciate it. So thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the link in the description. Pick up some Cornstar Farms work merch. Those new designs are really cool. Other than that, that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.